Something very special happened inside the neonatal intensive care unit at this hospital in Worcester, Massachusetts. October 17, 1995, twin girls were born here, 12 weeks premature. When you see little girls with their dolls, one of the tiny dolls, imagine that maybe just a little bit smaller. Each weighing only about two pounds. This is the twins' father, Paul Jackson. The nurses in the NICU were, they're very honest. And they say, they told me up front that things look pretty good now, but to be honest with you, that in the next 48 to 72 hours, they said things can turn very quickly. And turn it did. When they were only three weeks old, one of the twins was struggling to breathe. Her heart rate was soaring, her oxygen level dropping quickly, and she was turning blue. Not only was she having the spells, but they were severe. A nurse had the novel idea of taking the stronger twin and putting her in the same incubator as her sister, a procedure that at the time had never been done before in the U.S. And it was one of those things that was... It happened very quickly, and they really couldn't move that much, but if there was a little bit of a squirm, and the arm kind of just went up. The healthier sister, tiny Kyrie Jackson, put her arm around her sister Brielle. Her breathing and vital signs instantly stabilized. The image captured by a newspaper photographer who happened to be at the hospital. This heartwarming picture, dubbed the rescuing hug, was seen in newspapers around the world. In Life magazine and Reader's Digest, it highlighted the amazing healing power of touch. That was 17 years ago. And the girls? Now all grown up. The one down the bottom there is when the, the girls went uh, to, I believe it was York Beach up in Maine. You know, in one way, it seems like it's taken a long time, and sometimes it seems like, you know, you know, just a couple days ago. Then. Okay, so you know what you're doing, right? Okay. Yep, that's straight. Driving. He would let out a shout before leaping out of his bed or his chair and run for cover. Taking honors classes. It actually ends up, the end of the story is Juniors that. in high school. Like you, like school. Yeah, yeah, okay. Closer than ever and in sync. Um, sometimes we speak at the same time or, um, one person's thinking like, oh, are you thinking of a song? And you're like, yeah, it was the same exact part at the same exact song. And of their early fame? Sometimes we'll just Google it. The rescue hug and they're just like, oh, God. Like typical teenagers, they roll their eyes at the attention this has received. But it was a moment that wasn't just sweet. It was also historic. It showed the medical profession the profound impact a simple touch can have. Skin to skin contact and what's known as kangaroo care even for very young babies in the NICU. A lot of those things um, we just weren't doing. We thought these kids were too fragile, that you wouldn't be able to do these things. And now we do it not only with babies 28 weekers, we do it with 23, 24, 25 weekers, even when they're connected on the, on the ventilator, on the breathing machine. Is that really a question? Yeah. The twins are now looking at colleges. They may choose to go on to separate universities, but that twin bond... That will always be there. If one's sad, then the other gives the hug, I guess. She's kind of my output, I guess, as well as, like, input as far as, like, giving me hugs or giving me support. An endless hug that began here. And it's one of those stories that just makes you, brings tears to my eyes. But I actually have the magazine. This is Life magazine. And magazine. And this was the actual Amazing magazine. That there was a photographer uh, the there. Yeah, and it's just really moment. one of those real heartwarming stories because it, it emphasizes that, and you know, this is something a lot of parents can relate to, just how important it is to hold your child, to have that touch, whether you have a newborn baby, whether you have an older child. No, now, one thing the doctors will say is, you know, these twins, they were being closely monitored at the time. They had were on, you know, oxygen and so forth. So it's one of those things. You don't want to try this necessarily at home in terms of putting the two babies together because of the risk of SIDS. Mm. But certainly hold your baby. Put your baby directly on your chest. It's all good advice. They're identical twins, and they're fine right now. They're totally healthy. They're everything. taking they just AP like teenagers. classes. They are typical teenagers. They're doing really well in school. And they're at that stage, you know, they're juniors. And I know you have a daughter, so you can relate to this. They're at that point where they're figuring out what happens, what's next.